Okay, now the periodic table is a list of all known elements arranged in order. You can have it there. The periodic table is a list of all known elements arranged in order of increasing atomic number from 1 to 118. From 1 to 118, from H to OG. OG atomic number is is what? What, what, what? It's. The elements arranged in such a way that the atom with the same number of shells are placed together. Element with the same number of shells are placed together. Element with the same number of N. What can I even say? Element with the same number of N or energy level are placed together. Okay, let me explain what we mean by any element with the same number of shells are placed together. Now, if you look at um, this one, elements in period one. There are only two elements in period one, Abby. In period one, we only have hydrogen with atomic number one and what? Helium with atomic number what? Two. So which group are these elements? Okay, I mean to say, to which periods are these elements? Period what? One. Question will now be, why are they period one elements? Because the number of shell here and here are the same. This just has just one shell. They are all K shell elements. You know what I mean? K shell. They will just have just K, just K. Okay, now let that take me to uh, explaining this electronic configuration. Okay, as arrangement of an uh, electron in an atom. There are rules for arranging ele electrons in an atom. We don't, we don't just conclude that two electrons are in K shell. A shell can only hold maximum of two electrons. Once the electrons in that shell is maximum, what happens is that new shells are created? That is according to Neerbohr. Okay? You always assume that maximum number of electrons in each shell should be calculated using the formula 2 and what square. Like he was the one that gave this shell their letters. He said that these shells are main shell. Okay, he also said that this shell are N, N, small letter N. That's what he said. And he said this small letter N, he referred to this N as what? As energy, energy main level or energy levels. These energy levels are just shells. Are you there? What are these shells? These shells are what? Now, since we have seven periods, we're going to have how many shells now? Seven shells. And each shells are lettered what? K, L, M, N, O, P, and Q, according to this seven. And each of these shells has its own energy level, value for energy level. The energy level for this particular shell is what? One. This is what? Two, three, four, five, six, and then what? Seven. And this is where it's going to stop. And then for this now, maximum of electron in this shell will not exceed what? So we are using this formula here. So now each each of these shell has this value of n. Okay? So if you want to know maximum number of electron in this particular shell now, L shell. So that means the value of n for L shell is what? 2. So it's going to be what? 2 power 2. Okay. Now for L shell. Okay? So we're having what? 4 AB. 4 times 2. Does how many electrons will be in this shell? Eight. Eight now. Nah. It's saying two n squared. Where you have this two times what? N is L, okay? Which value is what? Two times what? Two. <coughs> That's what? Eight. And which shell in that value will be what? Eighteen. Is that clear? Any shell in that value will be what? Thirty-two. This will be what? Seventy-two. Okay, this is five now. So we're going to have 5 times 2. 5 raised to the power 2 is 5 times what? 5 is 25, have we? 25 times 2 is what? Sorry, 25 times 2 is what? 50. So here will be what? 50. Here is what? 72. Confirm it. So we have 6, 2 here. 6 times 6, 36. 36 times 2, 72. And here is 98. Are you with me? So now let's, let's 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 come back to this element. 
potassium 19. So why is in period 4? Look at the period, period 4. So why is period 4? It's because as for for what? Atomic shells. Are you with me now? So since the atomic number is 19, so let's look at the electronic configuration here now. So in that case, for potassium, if we have to configure 13 electrons, 19 electrons, so how many electrons will be in this shell? Two. How many will be in this shell? Eight. How many will be in this shell? Now, listen here. This is the last element, okay, before the interjection of the transition element, transition or D block element. So after, after calcium, any other, by the time you go around, come back again, you might have added 10 to the M shell. Are you with me now? You might have added 10 extra to this shell. And that will give you what? 18. Are you following me now? So in, this, in that regard, in that regard, the M shell, in as much as going to accommodate 18 electrons, in this case, it can't accommodate because we do not enter the D block for any reason. Having that, there in mind, we have 19 electrons. So what we do now is that since we have electrons already configured, 10, the remaining electron now in this particular atom is what? 9. So what enters in this uh, uh, MO shell is what? No, no, no. Look at what you do. In this periodic table, take note, we must always have two octet levels. Two octet levels. The first octet level is what? 8. Second one is what? 18. That is if this one is involved. Remember, we have two tables in one. A and what? B. B and what? A. Are you with me? So if that is the case now. So since 9 is remaining, what you will do now? 9. Which of these factor levels is 9 closest to? Is it 8 or 18? What enters is what? 8. Remember the words? 1. So that means what, we, what will be in this shell, the last shell, is what? 1. So with this, now if you count the number of shells here, we have how many shells? Four shells. So potassium belongs to period four because it has what? Four what? Shell. Four atomic shells. That's why it's here. Then the same thing goes with uh, calcium. Calcium is 20. So the only thing there is to add one, one more to it. Uh, that means there will be what? Two. So, the same shell. So all the elements in this period, down to this period, in this period, in this particular period, from here to here, okay? Let's have the elements. From here to here. Which element will be here? That is after argon. Which element will be here? Let's see. Which element? Krypton. Krypton. Krypton is what? That's uh, uh, 31, 36. Let's check. Let's configure 36. So here will be 2. Here will be what? 8. Because we have passed through here. Okay, see what I'm going to do. Even though you may not know if we have passed through here. What you would in that case now is clean this one. You have 10, isn't it? Okay, try to minus 10 from that atomic number of krypton, 36. So what is remaining? 26. 26. Which one is this? Is it equal to? Is it 8 or 18? So what goes is what? 18. Remainder what? What? Remainder? Remainder what? 8, isn't it? What enters is what? It. So for the fact that the 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 atomic shell, this particular element now, achieve what we call octet level or octet state. You know what I mean? Octet state. That means it has eight, eight, eight electronic configuration in the atomic shell. This particular element will not be in group eight. Most likely, we refer to them as group zero elements, having completely filled what orbital. So how many atomic shells are there in that atom? Four. That is why krypton is in what? Period what? Four. If you go again, come back to rebuilding, which is 37. Now let's say we have 37. At the point of this um, 37, it then means now that, no, this is 30 what? This is 36, isn't it? 36. This one is 36, Abby. So now let's come from real stuff. I even if we are doing 36 from, uh, from the beginning, here will be two, here will be eight, okay? Here will be 18. By the time you add up, what we're going to have is what? 20 what? 28, isn't it? Then minus with 8 from 36, let's see what is remaining. 
If you minus this from this, I think you have nine, isn't it? Nine, have you? Will you go and put nine here? No. Check nine. To which of this is it closer to? Is it eight or eighteen? What goes here is what? Eight. Then that means one will not go here. So how many atomic shells? Five. Five. That's why it's here. And then if you look at the last shell, how many electrons are there in that last shell? How many valence electrons are there in that last shell? One. That is why it's in what? Group one. So that means that uh, elements in the same group have the same number of valence what? Electrons. All the elements you see in this particular group of colon, which is one, group one A, they all have what? One atom of shell or valence uh, electron. Okay, let's consider this particular element. Let's see why it's in this group. And let's see why it's in this period of seven. It's very complex. I will mean that. So let's do it now. This is 87. So this is going to be 2. This is going to be what? 8. This is going to be what? 18. 18. I think this can hold up to the 2 by the time you are going around, maybe. Because it's just like 18. You're going to pass through here. So this will increase this one. 3 what? 30 what? 2. By the time you go and come back and go again, remember that this ocean will what? 50. But if you write 50, by the time you add 50 plus 32 plus this plus this plus this, I think it's going to exceed 87. Mm -hmm. So what are you going to do at that point? You add this up to see what is remaining. You have 60, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Then 60 minus 87. Mm -hmm. 27. So 27 now, to this, which one is the closest? Is it 8 or 18? 18. So what goes is what? 18. Remainder what? 9. Nine. What goes here now? Eight. Remainder what? 1. One. That's that. How many shells are here? Seven. So that's why it's in what? Period seven. And then group one because of one valence what? Electron. You can even do it to all the elements. If you can even go to OG, I find why OG appears to be in that particular group. It's very simple to do. You're not going to ex you can't, you can't exceed these shells. Any element that exceeds this number of shells, it means that that element does not what? Exist. It means that the element is quantum mechanically forbidden. Yeah. What? Thirty-two. How many maximum number of electrons will be in this year? Thirty-two. Then, are you with me? Uh -huh. It's thirty-two. So that particular that particular share can hold up to thirty-two as far as function is concerned. So that's why I say that atom with similar electronic configuration in the atom of share. Listen to me. Element or atom with the same similar electronic configuration in the atom of shell. The electronic configuration of the atom of shell of all the elements from one year to seven year are what? Are one. That is to say that they have one electron at the atom of shell. So they are all group one A element. Same goes to lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and fragile. All are group one element. Because they have one valence electron. And this is achieved. The elements are arranged in rows and columns. I think I've said it. And I say elements with one shell are placed in the first row. The elements in the first row are hydrogen and helium. Elements with two shells are placed in the second row. That is where you have what? Lithium down towards neon. And so what? Um, element with three shells are placed in period three, starting from sodium towards agon. 